So first and foremost, what is this Panopto thing? Um, it can be a little bit confusing for faculty or students because Panopto can refer to kind of a range of different things, which you are welcome to use together, or you may choose to just pick bits and pieces to use separately, but they all play very nicely together. Uh, so you may choose to use all, uh, every aspect of Panopto or just one. So Panopto is first and foremost, a website. Uh, it is also a Canvas plugin or also known as a Canvas app or a LTI. And basically it is a means for your students to watch video content that you have uploaded or recorded. So if, if you want to think of it as like a KVCC YouTube uh, in a sense, that's kind of what it is. It's a paid service. We, we pay for it as a streaming platform. Um, and there's a few advantages to using it over something like YouTube, uh, fewer distractions, more analytics. You can include things like quizzes. Um, it's definitely more educationally focused as opposed to something like YouTube, which might be more distracting. Um, it is also a way for you to record or to broadcast your videos. Um, so if you want to think of the website Panopto as being like the TV where you watch the video, uh, Panopto is also a camera, so you can use it to record. And when you use the Panopto recorder or one of the available recorders, which we'll cover later, because uh, now there's a few of them, um, when you use that, it will seamlessly transfer your video up onto the web um, into your Canvas courses, however you have it set up. Um, and that's really the, the advantage to Panopto. It takes a little bit of setup, but once it's all set up, it is, um, it's a fairly seamless experience. Um, and Panopto can also be a tool to help you check understanding for your students. So for example, you can uh, check the analytics to see where your students have sort of dropped off and stopped watching. You can include things like quizzes and you can even have those quizzes be graded and transferred into your Canvas gradebook if that's something you're interested in. These are all things we'll cover uh, at least a little bit today. So just, to make sure we're all on the same page. Uh, a lot of people are teaching with video nowadays um, just by, you know, because of the circumstances. But when I talk about recording, I mean a few different things. I mean, you may decide to record your lectures in the form of a PowerPoint, um, which you may or may not use your webcam as part of that recording. So recording your face. Uh, and you may also just do pure screen capture. So maybe you're not using PowerPoint, maybe you wanna demonstrate how to use a particular formula in Excel or Word or some other, um, you know, some other software that you use when teaching, uh, you can do that as well. Um, Panopto plays particularly nicely with PowerPoint, but you are certainly welcome to use it just to record uh, other software as well. So another thing I want to, um, explain, because it's also something that is potentially confusing, is that Panopto actually lives in two different locations, which means your videos kind of have two different homes. Um, Panopto, the website, is lectures.kvcc.edu. Lectures, plural, .kvcc.edu. That will take you to the Panopto website. You can think of it like typing in youtube.com, right? But remember that Panopto is like the KVCC version of YouTube. So this is where Panopto actually lives, but um, it also lives in Canvas. And you can see that um, Canvas is basically just giving you a window into, into lectures.kvcc.edu. So you're, you're kind of looking through the window through Canvas and looking at the Panopto website um, so that students can watch your videos right from within Canvas. And it's just, it's just very convenient. But you can always go to lectures.kvcc.edu, find your class folder, and you will find all of the stuff that's available in your Canvas classes as well. But lectures.kvcc.edu really needs a shorter name. <laughs> um, but it also is where you can find your private folder. So there is a folder called, quote unquote, my folder. Um, and you can put stuff in there and then it won't be available um, in a Canvas class. It'll be, it'll be private until you decide to share it. So um, just kind of want to point out that uh, Panopto actually lives on this outside website. 